There's one for you, 19 for me. Be thankful I don't take it all. It's been told time and again from many of history's great voices that taxes will plague anyone and everyone. When George Harrison saw how much of his Beatle earnings he had to pay to taxes, he was in disbelief. He couldn't believe that he was essentially being punished for being successful. He said he understood then why so many British artists moved out of the country for tax purposes. George began working on a song that would be the opener for Revolver. Similar to sound and scope as Day Tripper and Paperback Writer, he needed help with the track and got assistance from John as Paul was apparently unwilling. John wasn't too keen on helping either, but did in the end. They apparently just felt he wasn't a good songwriter, but thankfully John was more willing to assist than Paul. John gave George the idea of using two actual names in the track, politicians Harold Wilson and Edward Heath. These would be the first living people that would ever be referenced in a Beatles track. They began recording on April of 1966. The count-in was done by Paul, as was the guitar solo. George was extremely happy with the solo, as it followed an Indian-influenced descending scale. The Indian musical themes would be prominent throughout the entire record. The solo would be brought back for the end of the song, and for many years it was rumored to be part of Tomorrow Never Knows, but this is untrue. It was an incredible way to begin the album, showcasing not only was this a great rock and roll record, but they were also going to be experimenting with new elements. It would also be the opening track for George's Live in Tokyo album with Eric Clapton. Another great version that should be listened to is the one by Stevie Ray Vaughan, which is probably my favorite version. What do you think about this track? Which version is your favorite version? Let me know in the comments below. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by supporting me on Ko-fi, which you can find a link to below. You can also help by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.